Hi guys, welcome to another Arwen Technology. Today I'm going to talk about one of my new real awesome gadgets, the Nvidia Shield Android TV console. Um, I really was looking forward to this device and I'm going to show you the complete user interface, some nice apps, the streaming services. So sit back, enjoy. Okay, my device is booted and this is the home page of your device. And this is your basic menu. From here you can access all your apps and all the services that are provided by the Android TV NVIDIA Shield. Um, the NVIDIA Shield can be used for several things. It can be used as a gaming machine, gaming console, but also as a multimedia um, device, set of box. Uh, one of the things that has changed within the 2.0 update from GeForce streaming service that is provided by NVIDIA is now called GeForce Now. Um, there is a monthly fee for this service but it's something like Spotify or Netflix as you know and you pay a monthly fee and they will provide you cloud gaming of the newest games. Um, at this moment there are not so many games in the uh, GeForce Now service but um, as you can see also, The Witcher Free Wild Hunt, which is a pretty damn good game, is already in the service. Um, so if you buy the game in this service, you will also uh, get a free digital key for your PC download, so you can also play it locally on your computer. So there is um, games you can buy and play through the service, and there is uh, um, the service that gives you um, uh, all games that are packed into the service for free but then you pay a monthly uh, fee so as you can see most of those games are games that you've already seen or played but and I think that GeForce will make a big step here um, and they really have the resources to get the cloud gaming up and running I've tested it and the, 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 the lag, the input lag is pretty good. Um, you will not play Counter-Strike on this or Call of Duty, but for most of these simple games like Batman or racing games, it's pretty good. Okay, besides the GeForce Now service that is based on cloud gaming, you also have the possibility to game stream from your device that you already have, your gaming machine. Okay, so if we open this app, you can see all your games that are installed um, on your gaming computer. Uh, the service is only possible if you have an NVIDIA GeForce graphical power unit. Um, and not all games are basically supported, but as you can see, there are some games that you can already play with the service. And I really have good experience with this. The input lag is almost none if you have a nice gigabit Ethernet. Uh, connection inside your home um, and it's really really a nice console like um, gaming experience again started one of my games um, as you can see there's also the steam game icon and if we open this then the big picture mode of steam will launch and voila you have your steam machine and you can play all your steam games on the run from here on I will start one of my games, this is also a really nice game, but I will start for now the Formula One 2015. So if you have a nice gaming machine this allows you to play all your game in the couch and it's a really nice experience. I was very skeptic at uh, the time that I bought this machine but it's, it's just perfect for the purpose. As you can see, it's pretty quick. I have a GeForce GTX 960 in my i5, 4460 in my gaming machine. As you can see, it's really responsive. Okay, I'll quit the game now. Let's close Steam and look at the other services that are provided by this cool gadget. Ok, 
time. So these are the streaming services. There are also um, a lot of games for the Nvidia Shield to run on the machine itself. Um, some of them are even 4K, so it's really nice. Um, for example, you can play Borderlands or Crisis on the machine itself. Basically every game with Android that you can play with a controller are supported on this machine. You can download a lot of games if you like. Um, with the new update there are some really cool multimedia edits. Um, one of the most important things on this device was, was that you cannot really view your um, bought Blu-rays that you've ripped with the complete HD audio and 23 frames per second. Um, with this update, your device can. So you can watch your real uh, quality Blu-rays with all the uh, codecs that you like. Um, it supports almost everything now, even Dolby Atmos. So it's basically the best media player I've ever seen. I used my computer for HTPC, but this device is really everything I need. I can show you Kodi, for example. It's the old Xbox Media Center. And as you can see, it's pretty responsive. It's even faster than most of the devices I've seen in the past. So, it's, as you can see, scrolling is also very quick. All the images are loaded very quickly. So, this is a really a perfect machine for the um, HTPC settings. Um, I can show you one of the Blu-rays I've got to show you how quickly it loads. I think this is a real Blu-ray. Yeah. As you can see it's really quick and it's really nice. It also has the nice true HD sound. So you can rip all your Blu-rays and watch them on your cool console that allows you to stream games from your gaming machine and also from the GeForce Now service. Um, another cool app that is used to, uh, a lot in um, people's um, living areas is Plex. Um, I think most of you guys will know this uh, great application. Um, it, uh, runs on my Synology NAS and it allows me to transcode all my movies to um, whatever device I want to use. Um, for example now this device can run it directly without transcoding but if I want to look one of my uh, I want to watch all one of my movies on my iPad mini or on my iPhone it's possible by the real-time transcoding. But as you can see also this interface is really great, it's quickly, it opens fast, it's really responsive and that's something that you really want in your HTPC. So. For example I can watch the Star Trek trailer. Okay. There is also a possibility to use your voice. If you click at the green button on your controller, you can start the voice activation and you can um, call whatever you like. So I will press it now. Start Netflix. So, as you can see, my Netflix has started. And this also gives you a really fast experience thanks to the X1 processor from NVIDIA. Um, it's really awesome to see everything you like on Netflix. Okay. Also there is a YouTube app where you can watch all my movies for example. Hi guys, welcome to Technology. Today it's time so it gives you a real smooth experience that's way better than every TV I've ever tested so I think you guys will really like what you see 
Um, it also supports uh, 4K, it also supports HDCP 2.2, so you're really up to the future and you're bulletproof for that. Um, also there is a, a casting service in this device that allows you to cast your movies from your I iPad or your apps just like the Chromecast. So um, it's, it's a really nice um, complete package that you get and that's only for $199. So I think this is one of the coolest gadgets I ever bought from the, for this price. It's, I really use it a lot. So I hope that you guys enjoyed my movie and thank you very much for watching. See you guys. Bye bye.